WKBN 27 honored the Valley's best high school girls basketball players last night. Tonight, Ryan Allison is back with the top five boys players. Ryan? Well, this may be the most talented class in the history of our starting five. Every player on our list today has either broken a school record or won a state championship. So here is a look at our boys starting five class of 2014. Our 2014 starting five is brought to you by Beatrice Kopp and Harshman and Baird Brothers Fine Hardwood. The perfect start to our list begins with the only perfect team, Newcastle senior Malik Hooker. The Canes guard played well above the rim, averaging 23 points and nine rebounds per game while leading Newcastle to an undefeated season and their first state championship in school history. No one has played in more games at Austintown Fitch than Jesse Driver. And for good reason, the four-year starter led the Falcons in every statistical category this season and helped tie his school record with 19 regular season wins. His 18 points per game was also tops in the All-American Conference. Wellsville will need a new record book because Nate Scott shredded the old one. The Tiger senior broke a 30-year-old scoring record with over 1,600 career points. He also ranks first from long range with 78 three-pointers this season and 227 for his career. Both are new school records. McDonald has a new scoring champ as well. Senior Matt Seitz averaged a league-leading 24 points per game this season. He racked up 623 his senior year and over 1,400 for his career. Both are the best in Blue Devil history. And we finish with the best of the best, LeBray senior Peyton Aldridge. He'll finish his high school career as the Vikings' all-time leading scorer, averaging a staggering stat line of 22 points, 14 rebounds, four assists, and four blocks per game. It all adds up to one title, our starting five player of the year. Now those kids will be hard to forget, but they're not done just yet. Most of them will be taking part in the Mahoning Valley Coaches Association All-Star Game tonight in Boardman. We'll have highlights from that tonight at 11.